everybody, Clint Seely here, um, bringing you today a new tutorial um, in which I got the inspiration uh, directly from our Facebook group, uh, Bernina Digitizing Software by Passion Stitch. So if you're not a member of that group, I highly recommend you go to facebook.com and search for uh, Bernina Digitizing Software by Passion Stitch. Just join our group and you can get more useful information. Anyhow, um, our friend Monique Grossjean uh, posted a question this morning in relation to, let's see here, digitizing this rope around an anchor. And before I could respond, our other members quickly jumped on this and uh, found a solution and they all came up with a solution and it's so simple. I thought I would record a simple tutorial uh, to go over a, a unique feature of uh, version 8 of the software that allows this process now to be an easy process via the elastic pattern fill or fancy fill. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head on over to V8. And here we are in V8, and what we want to do is we would just want to draw a rope. We're just going to draw a line that looks like a piece of rope and then apply that pattern to that simple line and it just boom makes that dude look just like a rope it's very simple so go ahead and start yourself a new blank document and then under the toolboxes the drop down of digitize we are going to select we'll just select open freehand but what you might want to do first is go ahead and right here under the stitch style go ahead and select satin right here under outlines go ahead and uh, select satin and then we will click open freehand so as we draw the line now as we draw this rope it'll just go ahead and come in directly as a satin stitch so just to practice you can draw any shape that you want any type of a squiggly line or a rope looking li line that you want and so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna left click and hold down and as I hold down on my left click button on my mouse I'm just going to start drawing now you can see I'm just drawing a pretty simple shape right here because we are after all just practicing when you're done just let go of the left clicked mouse button there just let go of that mouse and here we go we have a satin stitch outline now this is nothing uh, nothing special you already knew how to do this but what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to get out of that mode by hitting the select or escape um, key on the keyboard and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the object properties for um, for this satin stitch and I can easily do that by going down here on this icon and right clicking if you right click on these icons it'll now bring up those object properties and so from the object properties we then go down and we're gonna left click on this little effects button and that'll bring up the effects dialog box so I'm just moving these um, around so you can see exactly what I'm doing now in the effects you can click and go to the tab that it says elastic fancy fill now what elastic fancy fill is it is it's just a regular fancy fill but it'll automatically adjust the pattern as th the shape itself makes turns and twists and change directions it compensates for that as well to maintain a uniform look it's really really cool so for the rope we're just going to click in the pattern box we're going to click that drop down menu and we're going to just scroll down to, i believe it's 168 which is rope so let's scroll down as you can see we have a ton of these dudes that are available to you but let's scroll down to yep right here see it's 168 rope let's left click that guy and then um you have other options over here single row single row with scaling let's just start with single row because this is obviously just going to be one single ro row of rope and I'll hit the apply and boom there you go let's go ahead and change this color to maybe something rope looking or maybe for demonstration purposes we do a, a bright color and now you can see that we now have something that looks like a piece of rope laying on the workspace and as you scroll in 
you can see that this pattern has maintained consistency as it turns and changes directions just like a piece of rope would <laughs> now wasn't that easy so <clears throat> that's really all that there is to it and i would like to thank uh, our participating members on our facebook group uh, monique for posting the question and then the first solution i believe was uh, miss maureen russell posted the solution immediately uh, very quickly at 4 49 a.m this morning so you can see i didn't even have a chance to get to it <laughs> So anyway, this is Clint Seeley. Thank you for watching.